Good morning students of grade 9. Uh, today we are going to continue our fourth lesson. And um, Last time we derived the equations of motion and used the Schubert formula to solve some numerical. And uh, this time we are going through the laws, Newton's laws of motion. Okay, Newton's laws of motion. You all know that there, there are three laws given proposed by Newton. Yes, first law of motion, second law of motion, and third law of motion. And today we are going to discuss only uh, Newton's first law of motion, which is associated with inertia. Okay. Now, let's begin with inertia. What is inertia? What is it? What do you mean by inertia? Okay. Uh, think of it. If um ball is placed on the ground, okay, if a ball is placed on the ground and no other forces are acting on it, then the ball does not move. Yes, if the ball is um, resting on the ground and no other forces are acting on it, then the ball does not move. That means until force is applied, okay, or unless force is applied, object at rest does not move a okay, very general observation but if a ball is rolling through the ground say if a ball is rolling through the ground which is made up of ice means ice is very slippery and there is no frictional force on ice so it, um um there is no force acting opposite to the movement of ball. Okay, in this case, the ball is in state of motion. Okay, the ball is rolling through the surface of ice. The ball is in motion, and no other forces are acting on it. No other forces, like no frictional force or no force provided by any other object. Then, in that case, the ball keeps on rolling. It does not stop. If you need to stop it, either you need to provide frictional force. Or you need to apply force in opposite direction on the ball. You need to apply equal amount of same amount of force in opposite direction uh, to stop the ball. That means unless force is applied, object at motion does not stop. Got it? Unless force is applied object at motion does not stop not just that the object does not change its direction as well so we can what you can say is um unless force is applied most uh, sorry, speed and direction of moving object does not change okay this is special case of uh, this second case see if a ball is rolling if a ball is rolling and if you do not provide any force on the ball then the ball keeps on rolling in the same direction or in straight line at the same speed neither its speed increases nor decreases okay but if you apply force on this ball then we have discussed it in effects of force either the ball stops or the ball moves faster or speed of ball slows down or uh, the ball changes direction when force is applied so what you have seen that unless force is applied object at at rest does not move and object at motion continues to move in a straight line at uniform speed that means unless force is applied they uh, tend to resist the change in their state and that property of mass is called inertia okay so how to define inertia inertia is the property of mass okay it is a property of mass the inertia is possessed by an object due to mass if there is no mass then there is no such property so it is property of mass due to which object tends to resist in any change 
in its state of rest or motion along a straight line at uniform speed okay this much uh, it is not very hard to understand inertia is a property of mass due to which an object tends to rest in any change in its state of rest or motion along a straight line sorry along a straight line at uniform speed this is called inertia okay so see if an object uh, is at rest it does not move unless force is applied okay definitely if you apply force and it starts to move and if an object is at motion okay it does not stop or change direction or change its speed unless force is applied so there are two special cases of inertia okay so you can um, categorize them as types of inertia now uh, the inertia possessed by object at rest is called inertia of rest and the inertia possessed by object at motion is called inertia of motion now remember um, this third property some authors of book refer it as inertia of direction okay that means an object tends to change in direction of motion unless external force is applied okay they tend to define it as a separate form of inertia but in reality it is a special case of inertia of motion that is it is already defined by inertia of motion okay so we will not categorize it as a different type of inertia this is a special case of inertia of motion so we do not count inertia of direction as a separate case okay now uh, let's define inertia of motion now okay uh, inertia of motion uh, sorry inertia of rest the first one is inertia of rest um, unless force is applied on an object at rest it tends to remain in rest okay this property is known as inertia of rest for example um, some examples of inertia of rest you all know when a blanket is jerked does it fall out you might have experienced it when a blanket is jerked dust falls out it is because suppose this is a blanket and dust is along with it okay let me write it in um, side view this is blanket and dust is on its surface okay if you beat the blanket by using a stick in this direction moving the blanket like this or changing the position of blanket then due to the inertia dust uh, remains in its own position dust does not changes its uh, position or place okay dust remains at the same place whereas blanket has already moved and it detaches the dust particle and the dust particle falls down due to gravity okay or dust particle is blown off due to wind in any case a uh, dust is separated from from the blanket okay so here uh, what is acting what is in motion inertia of rest inertia of rest is acting in this case okay due to inertia of motion due to uh, please i'm not going to write it you have to listen and write it down why when a blanket is jerked dust falls out why because when um the blanket is blanket is jerked the blanket changes its position due to external force 
the blanket changes its position due to external force but dust particles remain at their same position due to inertia of rest and hence dust particles get separated from the blanket surface and they fall out due to gravity okay uh, if you did not catch it up you can rewind the video just to um take it down as note okay take it as dictation and next case or the next example um another example when we move out of a boat it moves backward okay now suppose this is a boat okay and the boat is in water you are standing on the boat and if you move forward if you try to move out of the boat then the boat recoils sorry sir this is of uh, i guess third law of motion sorry sir i'm going to cut out this example get um rather um, i will take another example uh, when a boss suddenly moves forward standing passengers fall backward why now think of it this is a boss okay and if you are standing in the bus every time you do not get seat isn't it if you are lucky if you are fortunate enough you get seat in a bus but sometimes you are not so lucky to get seat in a bus yes if you are standing in a bus the bus is not moving and suddenly driver presses accelerate and bus moves forward like okay. in that case what you have noticed that your body falls backward okay when the bus starts to fall okay right when it starts to um, move forward your body moves backward and you need to uh, take some support from uh, somewhere okay if you do not want to fall okay? and once a bus keeps on moving sets in motion then once again you can stand straight now the moment when the bus starts right when the bus starts why do you um fall backward this is also because of inertia of rest okay because of inertia of rest hmm? now what i what is happening here when the bus suddenly moves forward the lower part of your body once again this is dictation okay so uh, if you are lost somewhere you can always uh, rewind the video to get it when a bus suddenly moves forward standing passengers fall backward because of inertia of rest when the bus moves forward lower part of pass body lower part of body of passenger which is in direct contact with floor of bus moves along with the bus but upper part of body tends to remain in same position upper part of body tends to remain in same position due to inertia of rest that is why the person falls backward okay i hope you have cast it up and another example is there when a mango tree is shaken mangoes fall down you know it so this is a mango tree and this is branch of mango and mangoes are hanging from the branch okay uh, they are hanging from the branch now what happens the usual common trick of getting the mango is to shake the mango tree isn't it if you shake the mango tree then the mangoes fall down what is the reason behind this when we shake the mango tree what is happening the branches move okay along with um due to shaking action the branches move okay however the mangoes they tend to remain in the same position due to inertia of rest the mangoes tend to remain in same position due to inertia of rest now think of it 
so this is the branch and um okay i have this fixed vapor of this is a mango okay the branch and mango the mango is on the branch now when branch moves if mango moves along with the branch then it does not fall out okay but due to inertia of rest if the mango remains at the same position see this is branch the branch moves but mango remains at the same position then the link between branch and mango is severed okay so the mango gets separated from branch and due to gravity it falls it falls down okay you see um newton's uh, okay sorry um in this case when a mango tree say is shaken mangoes fall down it is because of inertia of rest okay when the branches or sorry when the tree is shaken the branches move um however the mangoes tend to remain in same position due to inertia of rest okay in this way the mango gets severed from branch and due to gravity it falls down okay i hope you got it now uh, let me go to next one inertia of motion we just described inertia of rest okay we just discussed inertia of rest and some uh, applications of inertia of rest in daily life we use it to describe several phenomena that is occurring in our surrounding now i'll go to inertia of motion it means uh, if an object okay unless an external force is applied unless an external force is applied an object in motion remains in the state of see the term uniform motion okay don't just write motion but uniform motion uniform motion means the object is moving with same velocity or same speed and when i say same velocity needless to go it also means in a straight line remember this velocity is vector quantity okay and if you change direction despite your speed is same if you change direction then your velocity is changed your velocity is altered okay that is why you need to say uniform motion in a straight line don't forget to write this word okay uniform motion okay this property is called inertia of motion now see it explains why speed of moving object does not change and why direction of moving object does not change okay inertia of motion explains both why speed of object does not change and why direction of object does not change okay and this part motion in a straight line this part also explains inertia of direction or you can say this uniform motion this part it explains the inertia of speed but both of them are uh, not a relevant term they are both the part of inertia of motion okay so if you are asked what are the types of inertia just say there are two types of inertia inertia of rest and inertia of motion now come to uh, some examples like um if a boss is moving okay the boss is moving and once again you are standing See in both example you seem to be very much unfortunate not to get seat in a crowded bus if a bus is moving and you are standing uh, while the bus is moving in uh, uniform motion you can stand still or you can walk in bus you can do any work without being falling down okay there is no problem but when the bus slows down or suddenly bus stops okay okay how to write this is a suppose this is a symbol of stop suddenly bus stops then what happens you fall forward you tend to fall forward okay in that case also once again you need to get some support if you do not want to completely fall down yes and then also okay now why does this occur why do you fall forward when bus suddenly stops 
especially when a driver hits emergency brake when driver hits emergency brake that is the biggest problem even the person sitting in seat they tend to um, bang their nose or forehead in uh, the seat in front of them isn't it that is very worse situation and you might have faced it several times in a daily life as well well uh, i've faced it several times okay now um why does it occur now, this is because of inertia of motion see um okay uh write down note i'm going to dictate when a moving bus suddenly stops standing passenger inside the bus tend to fall forward due to inertia of motion as the bus stops lower part of their body um, comes to stop along with the floor of bus lower part of body comes to stop along with the floor of bus but upper part of body tends to remain in motion but upper part of body tends to remain in motion due to inertia of motion hence we fall forward or hence the passenger fall forward okay i hope you got it now next example sit down when you <coughs> you suppose you are running okay uh, i don't know if i can draw running picture or not <laughs> it seems quite a funny picture of running who runs like this i don't know if you was big bang theory series and you certainly know that howard runs in this fashion okay? suppose you are running okay at very high speed as fast as you can but suddenly when you reach this spot you are told to stop somebody said you somebody told you to stop immediately but can you stop immediately right here no you never can do that if you are running and somebody told you stop then um it will take some time for you to stop you um keep on running for some time and then only you stop if you do stop right at the point then what happens you fall down yes they get it or not when you are running if you try to stop immediately at a point then you fall down or somebody uh, places some object okay um well somebody strangled your feet that is to say um chedgano you know that chedgano yes if somebody uh, strangle your feet then what happens your feet comes to rest but your upper body is still in motion that's why you fall forward okay jab the ami ekdam chito daudi raheka huncha kasai le khutta ma chedge hane bhane ami agadi pati ladchu kina bhayo bhanda keri chedge handa keri yo hamro khutta immediately stop huncha tara body ko upper part immediately stop hudaina tesele yo agadi pati move huncha jasle garda ami ladchu okay now see um when a running person tries to stop immediately he falls forward when a running person tries to stop immediately he falls forward why now i'm going to dictate uh please take it down when a running person tries to stop immediately he falls forward because of inertia of motion when um his feet are strangled or immediately stopped then also his upper body part is still in motion due to inertia of motion as a result his upper body part falls forward okay another example is there i know electric fan yes electric fan it keeps on rotating when it is switched on but as soon as you switch it off 
as soon as you switch it off, does it just stop rotating? Does it simply stop rotating immediately as it uh, press to switch off? No, it does not. Yes, it rotates. Um, its speed indeed decreases, and as its speed decreases, uh, keeps on decreasing. Finally, it stops. Okay, why does it keep on rotating for a um, few time uh, even after switching off the fan? That is also because of inertia of motion. Okay. Even if fan is switched off, the blades were still rotating. Yes, that's why the blades have inertia of motion and they keep on rotating for a few time. And let me tell you, if there was no friction, then the blades will never stop rotating. If there were no friction, it is because of friction the blades stop rotating. Likewise, um, let's suppose uh, you are driving a car and there is frictional force on ground. But if there was no frictional force, then once you start the car engine, okay, the car starts to move, then you turn off the engine, the car will never stop unless you hit the brake. Okay, if there, I'm talking about if there was no friction, but there is friction. That's why you need to keep the engine running. You need to keep pressing acceleration button, uh, acceleration pedal, okay, to keep it running. And that also explains why uh, to move a car from rest, you need more energy or you need more fuel. But once it sets in motion, then if you want to, if you try to keep it in uniform motion in same speed without increasing or decreasing, if you drive the car without increasing or decreasing, then it consumes minimum amount of fuel. That way, that is a principle of increasing mileage of your car or even bike. Okay, get it in a motion, okay, uh, reach certain velocity and drive your car or bike at the same constant speed. Okay, without increasing or decreasing speed. That way, you can increase mileage of your bike or your car. This is a real life application of inertia of motion. So it is useful, isn't it? Okay, more you press accelerator or more you keep on pressing accelerator or more you keep, in, keep on pressing brake, both of them consumes more fuel. Okay, um, let's go to next topic then newton's first law of motion okay newton's first law of motion is roughly the statement the statement of uh, inertia okay newton's first law of motion is roughly the statement of inertia so it can simply be written as newton's first law of motion states that unless an external force is provided an object having mass tends to resist any change in its state of rest or see don't forget this word uniform motion this one see Newton's first law of motion says that unless an external force is provided an object having mass tends to resist any change in its state of rest or uniform motion this is the Newton's first law of motion <coughs> and there is no derivation in Newton's first law of motion indeed um, you need to relate the law uh, relationship between mass and inertia okay it is very simple mass is proportional to inertia means the object which has more mass also has more inertia okay for example if um, um car is moving and at the same speed a truck is moving a loaded truck is also moving at the same speed okay now if you want to stop both of them 
which one requires more force okay this is also moving this is also moving at the same speed if you have to press brake you will find that it is much easier to stop the car but it is very difficult to stop the truck why because truck has more mass okay and it has more inertia so you need to uh, provide more force to stop the truck that's why in road also you should never drive truck very fast if it is driving very fast and you cannot stop it immediately okay that's why accidents tend to happen with trucks than with cars okay? okay and that is also reason why you should not drive near uh, immediately in front of a truck because if they need to stop then also they cannot stop immediately and if you are going to be a truck driver always remember do not exceed your speed do not drive in high speed do so only if the road is uh, quite wide or empty okay then also you need to keep your eyes on um, the road okay that's it for uh, today uh, now I will send you some questions regarding inertia okay and in your group or okay okay um, let's take the questions right here take out the question give reason okay take out the question and that is a homework for you okay see uh, question number one give reason question number one take this out or uh, freeze the screen or uh, pause the screen to take the question when a carpet is jerked with a stick the dust particles fall off question number one question number two it is dangerous to jump out of a moving bus take it question number two number three blades of a running electric fan continues to spin for some time even after the electricity is switched off Question number four, an athlete runs some distance before taking a long jump. Okay, this much. You don't need to do further because they are related to Newton's second law of motion and third law of motion. Okay, up to here, these four questions, they are related to Newton's first law of motion or um, inertia. Okay, you can do them. So these four questions are your homework. Okay, thank you class.